The countdown is on for WWE WrestleMania week in Orlando. Join us at the WrestleCon FanFest Friday, March 31st and Saturday, April 1st with over 150 top superstars and WWE legends available for autographs and posed photos. At the MWF booth, meet Shelton Benjamin, Zeb Coulter, and John Cena Sr. both days. For discount pre-sale tickets, visit bostonwrestling.com. Are you part of a non-profit organization, a youth group looking to raise cash for your cause? Stay tuned at the end of this video to learn how you can bring the action and excitement of the Millennium Wrestling Federation to your town live, featuring the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. You already know Kowloon Restaurant, established in 1950 and spanning four generations, serves a multi-Asian menu. Did you also know that Kowloon Restaurant is New England's premier Asian dining and entertainment complex, serving Cantonese, Szechuan, Thai, and Polynesian cuisine? And did you know that Kowloon Restaurant is also the home of the finest Japanese sushi? If you haven't dined at Kowloon Restaurant lately, then you simply haven't dined at Kowloon. Kowloon Restaurant, Route 1 North in Saugus. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans from around the corner and around the world, welcome to another installment of Wrestling Insiders. Live from MWF Studios just north of Boston in downtown Melrose, Mass, the zip code of champions 02176. Stay tuned after this video for great deals where you can support indie wrestling. The road to WrestleMania hit a major pothole less than 24 hours after the Royal Rumble at this week's Raw in Laredo, Texas. Samoa Joe made his long-awaited debut, attacking Seth Rollins when he made his way to the ring to confront Triple H. This was a tremendous angle and got Joe over as a top superstar in less than two minutes. Raw went off the air with Rollins passed out from Joe's Kakina Clutch finisher. Great piece of business to give Rollins a big match at the Raw brand Fastlane pay-per-view March 12th before going on to WrestleMania against Triple H. That's the good news. The bad news is that Rollins appears to have seriously injured his right knee in the angle, the same knee that he injured uh, on a European tour against Kane in the fall of 2015. Internet chatter has him out of action for approximately eight weeks, in essence about how far away we are right now from WrestleMania 33. In a strange reality, Rollins was also scheduled to face Triple H at last year's WrestleMania 32 in Dallas. This is going to decimate the spirit of any top-notch athlete like Rollins. Hopefully, he'll be able to recover in time for WrestleMania and be 100% going into Orlando. The match with Samoa Joe will obviously have to be put on hold until after WrestleMania. Rollins will have a variety of issues uh, once he returns to the fold, hopefully much sooner than later. So what does that mean to the road to WrestleMania with this dose of reality WWE has been served. The last time we saw Triple H compete was in a losing effort to Roman Reigns at last year's WrestleMania. It would be hard to imagine that he doesn't work this year's show. Uh, if the worst case scenario of Rollins missing WrestleMania comes true, there's still two months worth of television to come up with a solid feud for Triple H. Uh, what if his new assassin, Samoa Joe, turned on Triple H, or vice versa, and those two squared off in Orlando? Internet chatter uh, discussed Joe moving over to the SmackDown brand, but what sense does that make before he has a blow-off with Seth Rollins? I don't see the common sense in that thought at all. Finn Balor could be ready to go come WrestleMania. I think any creative person could come up uh, with some awesome material building to a Finn Balor Triple H match for the big event. Balor also had quite a run with Joe in NXT. What if WWE brought that to life in front of 75,000 strong on April the 2nd? Could WWE go the interpromotional match route and put something together where Triple H faces Shane McMahon? I've expected Shane to face AJ Styles based upon the way this event is breaking down with the roster at hand, but Triple H's angle and match is going to take precedence over a match between Shane and AJ Styles. Talk about bringing some reality to the biggest event of the year with Triple H taking on his brother-in-law. The wrestling fan in me hopes that Rollins recovers and is able to go in a match that they've been spent quite a bit of time building up. Uh, but the man that spent 23 years in professional wrestling loves to examine the roadmap for WWE creative to go over for the next two months. How do you think things will unfold and what would you like to see at WrestleMania? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. 
2017 is here, and that means WrestleMania season is here. Now's the time to get WWE Network for one month free. Check out the 30th Royal Rumble at the Alamo Dome, plus the return of Elimination Chamber, Fast Lane, two NXT TakeOver specials, the WWE Hall of Fame, all accumulating with the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania 33 at Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Florida. Use the link below and start watching all the great action in, in history of WWE today. Visit the MWF store this month for a huge sale. We're spending $25 or more. You get both a free WWE t-shirt and a free autographed photo of Cowboy Bob Orton. We have brand new WWE merchandise, t-shirts, autographs, DVDs, action figures, books, and tons more. Best of all, every dollar spent goes to supporting our live event and video initiatives. Now fans in over 30 countries can rent or own our Studio Shoot Interview DVD library digitally starting at only $5.99. Check out the world famous Iron Cheek Studio Shoot that's been seen by millions online and the Howard Stern Show, an in-depth 1980s WrestleMania 1 roundtable, plus individual studio shoots with the late Paul Bearer, the Boogeyman, the Ugandan Giant Kamala, a look at WWE NXT with Bull Dempsey, and more. Don't settle for cheap imitations. Watch the best now using the links below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel with over 1,400 free videos. From live MWF wrestling to studio shoot interviews, history, news, and more. Help support the cause by donating an amount of money of any size using paypal.me slash boston wrestling. You can also help the cause using our links to a variety of popular online stores including WWE Shop, Amazon, and Walmart. We get a small thank you for every customer sent their way, and best of all, it doesn't cost you an extra penny on any purchase made. Finally, get a free ride from us on Uber. Get a ride in any city Uber services up to $20 using the links below. Forget about overpriced taxi cabs with long waits. Use 2017 technology to get a clean ride and great driver at an even better price now using the links below. We're running out of time here, fans. Don't miss a day on bostonwrestling.com. Like us at facebook.com slash mwfaction. Follow us at mwf2001. Subscribe to us at youtube.com slash bostonwrestlingcom. Until we speak again, be well. The Millennium Wrestling Federation's 15th anniversary tour begins this fall and rolls into 2017 throughout New England, down the East Coast, and into the Carolinas. If your nonprofit organization is looking for an interactive, turnkey experience while putting the fun into fundraising, you've met the perfect tag team partner. MWF offers a variety of packages for groups of almost any size. From our live events at the Boston Garden, the Kowloon Entertainment Dining Complex, and the legendary Suffolk Downs, to high school gyms and function halls, we've presented live events everywhere. Since 2001, the MWF's mission has been simple, keep the kids off the streets. Under the leadership of President Dr. David Reese, we bring the superstars of yesterday, today, and tomorrow to your town, not for a quote-unquote wrestling show, but an event that features action-packed in-ring wrestling, autograph and pose photo opportunities, question and answer sessions, and much more. It is the best of sports and entertainment. The week of your event, we can add on to the endeavor with anti-bullying campaigns, library meet and reads, youth sport concussion seminars, and more. Our live events are fit for fans of every age, from 5 to 95. This fall, as part of our new Kids Club program, we offer live event experiences exclusively for the youngest of fans. On the flip side, we can also produce a tailor-made event for fans of an older demographic as well. We work with you every single step of the way to get the word out to fans near and far, on our local television offerings, and to over 50,000 fans and growing on our social media platform. Your success is our success. If your group has had enough of boring candy bar and wrapping paper sales and has the energy to team with our passionate fan base, bringing the MWF experience to your community is the answer to put smiles on faces while raising cash for your cause. Contact us today to get the ball rolling for your custom-made event that you'll want to bring back year after year. Don't just take it from us. Here are folks we've teamed with in the past.
Sunday, March 12th. WWE Live returns to the world's most famous arena just three weeks before WrestleMania. What will happen when the beast Brock Lesnar is unleashed onto Madison Square Garden? Experience an action-packed night with your favorite superstars. It's the WWE Live Road to WrestleMania Tour at MSG on Sunday, March 12th. Tickets and VIP packages are available.